All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Uh, we are looking at week seven of training this week. Um, so I just wanna start off saying that this is probably one of the weeks that I've finished and I have probably the most confidence in myself and in my training that I've had this entire buildup so far. Um, it wasn't necessarily that I had any one workout that like blew my mind. It wasn't that there was any like one specific piece of training that really hammered home of like, yeah, man, like, this is going really well. Um, I think the biggest portion of it was just my knee felt the best it's felt so far. Um, and I've had just a lot of consistency this week. I think that consistency is really the most important part of the confidence that I have going forward. Okay. Uh, just to give you guys a little background of like why my knee is feeling so good, or at least why I think it's feeling as good as it does is the, the, the Sunday before this, this week came up, um, I was doing a little bit of, um, a little bit of massage, just kind of like self massage, working out some stuff. And I found a couple of knots in, in my hamstrings that I did not realize I had <laughs> until I started working on them. And I was like, okay, let's just, let's dive in let's get through and let's, let's work this out. Um, you know, I was a little bit tender to the touch the following day. Um, but man, worked through that i think that might have been the last little bit that was really holding my knee back uh and, and things that were going on because monday came around and i started the workout and there was no pain like i was just like wait i, I don't need to warm up into this like my knee feels great and i was just super excited um so so that right there like that was a great way to start off the week you know starting off no knee pain went into the workout um, you know, I was a little bit tired still from, from the long run the week before because of the whole heat incident. Um, I don't think I had fully recovered yet, but you know, I felt good enough and I had kind of scheduled it out where that first workout of the week was a progression run. So nothing super strenuous, um, nothing super structured. It was just go out there, start off nice and easy, slowly kind of build up, you know, get to about tempo, you know, effort and then call it a day. So start off the run with my wife. Um, we just kind of start off super easy. Um, we kind of build up, you know, I work, we worked through and, and got her progression run in. And then I peeled off from her. I think we were going about 6.30 pace by the time I, I peeled off from her. Um, then I added on a couple miles and, and dipped down a little bit further. And yeah, my, my legs felt really, really good. Um, you know, after that, did a couple strides, again, higher intensity. Um, knee still felt pretty good. Um, I was a little bit weary going into it. I was like, okay, this is, you know, going to be a little bit higher intensity. It might flare up a little bit. I was like, but, you know, let's let's just test it out and see. And it felt good. It felt great. I, I was super excited, and and that kind of gave me a lot of um, excitement going, going forward. Um, you know. Tuesday, just another aerobic run, just kind of got, got the legs going and, and that was about it. Nothing super exciting. Um, Wednesday, Wednesday was the, the big workout of the week. It was the mixture of 400s, what was supposed to be at like 5k effort, um, ended up starting at 5k effort, uh, and then actually working down closer to more of like a mile effort. Um, but we'll talk about that here in a second, but we did some 400s and then some 3ks at like tempo effort right um and actually i was looking back i was like you know what i'm curious my last build up going into santa rosa a couple years ago and i wanted to see kind of how things were were changing or comparing right and i was looking at the times i was like okay time wise paces are about the same they're really not that big of a difference between a couple years ago and now but the biggest thing that I saw, and again, another thing that gave me a lot of confidence coming through this week was my volume is up, right? So I'm, I'm hitting more mileage in the week. I'm hitting longer long runs. Um, I'm hitting a lot more consistency. And these type of workouts, even though they're not, I'm not running them any faster, based on notes that I left for myself back then, and again, another reason to, to keep a training log is to be able to look back and reflect and, and kind of compare and, and see where things are at. Based on those notes, I'm feeling way more comfortable at those paces. Um, 
you know, I, again, I was hoping to, to run these at more like 5k effort, but by the time I got done at the workout, you know, I was starting off at like 77, 78 for, for the workout. Um, but then by the time I got done, I ran and I, I looked around my watch when I finished the rep and I was like, oh, 73, 72. That was a little bit quicker than I was expecting. That was a little bit quicker than it felt like. Okay. I, I definitely knew that I was pressing a little bit because I was tired, but I didn't realize I was pressing that much to kind of dip down that fast. Um, the tempo portions of it, you know, are kind of about what I've been seeing in a lot of my tempo runs, but I just felt super comfortable, super just find that rhythm and just kind of keep going with it. There wasn't a, man, I'm struggling, I'm hurting. It was just like, okay, here's the pace. We fall into that rhythm and we just kind of go through it. So that was super, super beneficial, super exciting. Um, you know, Thursday, another easy, easy run. Uh, Friday, Friday was actually kind of a, a fun one because um, I got a buddy who just got an e-bike and, and personally, I'm not the type of person that like advocates e-bikes. Like I really don't think that they're a great thing. Um, I think a lot of people that get them are just more being on the lazy side, but I do think that there is a place for them. Um, you know, I, I don't think that they are like what everybody should be doing unless it's like, you know, unless you're like, Hey, I want to commute. That's a great use for it. Or in my buddy's sense who he's had some medical issues in the past and he just physically can't exercise too much. This is a nice assist. Okay. And it was great. He got the e-bike. He was super excited about it. He wanted to go ride. So I was like, Hey, let's go. I grabbed my, my mountain bike. We went for a nice, easy hour ride. Um, and, and it was, it was awesome. I shook my legs out, uh, from, from the week's workout so far. Um, he was able to test out the e-bike. He had a lot of confidence in, in things, you know, and he's, his plan is like right now he's using kind of majority of the, the boost that you get from the bike. But as he gets into more and more shape, he's planning on reducing the amount that he uses, you know, to, to kind of keep up with everybody. But yeah, that was awesome. That was fun. Um, again, just cause we're doing marathon training doesn't mean that has to be the only thing that we focus on doing little things here and there are fine. Um, you know, I plan on probably riding with him periodically, you know, once a week, once every other week, you know, I probably wouldn't do too much more than that in this buildup right now, just cause of worry of injury risk, crashing, um, you know, doing too much on the bike and taking away from my run a little bit. Um, you know, but a little bit here and there is fine. Okay. If you're somebody out there that you're, you're training for, for an event like this, don't feel like you have to be that person that's like, oh no, I'm doing marathon training. I can't go play ultimate frisbee or I can't go, you know, do this or don't feel like you can't do things. Don't feel like you can't live because a lot of these things that you're doing are fine. Um, if anything, they're, they're actually better for you to do some of these alternate things along the way. Right. Um, I was on the bike. It was nice, easy aerobic. I, I gained some benefit from that. Wasn't doing a whole lot of pounding on my legs. Let my, let my legs recover a little bit there. Um, you know, by being on the bike, changed kind of the mus muscles that I worked just a little bit, you know, and I kind of changed things and it, and it, and it works out fine. Okay. So I think that was a really fun piece, piece of the week. Um, and then finishing out, uh, the week, well, not finishing out, but the, the last big real effort of the week was, was the long run. So super cool. Um, it was me, it was my wife, it was my buddy Dom. Uh, we went for, for a run, uh, up in what's called uh, snow mountain. And we actually started there. We went up and over snow mountain and then dropped into a park that I really haven't explored. I mean, I, I've lived in Sonoma County majority of my life. It's one of the parks I've never really checked out. So it was really fun to, to dive into that. Um, and again, we're alternating weeks. The week before was a, um, a road week. This was a trail week. And so we were just out there for time. Um, the workout itself was originally supposed to be about two hours and 15 to two hours and 30 ended up being closer to two hours and 40. Um, but it was again, just time on the feet. It was, it was fine. Uh, we were moving super slow. We were not pushing the pace at all. It was just out there having a good time, laughing, joking, um, getting caught up, you know, cause COVID has been going on. I haven't really been seeing a whole lot of people. So this was just a nice way of getting caught up with, with one of my old teammates from, from college. 
So um, we were out there. I ended up getting about almost 4,000 feet of, of vertical climbing. So definitely one of the reasons that we weren't moving very fast. Um, and I, ironically, the thing that was the sorest and the most tired on me the following day was my shoulders. Uh, typically, when we go for these long runs, I'll wear my, my running vest and I'll have two half liter bottles uh, up, up front. Because we were going for such a long time, and I usually carry the water for both me and my wife, I wanted to make sure that we had plenty. Um, we were going to be out in the middle of the trail, so I didn't want to get stranded somewhere and, and not have access to water. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be a little more conservative, uh, throw the, the, the hydration bladder into my back, which is about two liters, so about double the amount of water that I have been wearing, um, and ran for two hours and 40 minutes. Woke up the next day, my traps were so sore. Um, from the extra weight on there. Funny enough, legs felt fine. Uh, they were a little bit tired, but that was that was about it. Went for a run on Sunday. Uh, nothing super hard, super fast. Uh, I think I did about five miles just to kind of shake the legs out, sh um, you know, just go out there. Started off super easy, kind of as my legs felt better. Picked the pace up a little bit, never really got super fast. So, you know, it, it kind of got to about an aerobic run average aerobic run pace by the end, but I kind of worked down to that. So, but yeah, so that's, that's the week that was, like I said, super exciting, super big confidence builder week. Um, this is the best that my knee has felt. Um, you know, when I'm running that, that first day there was zero pain. That was, that was awesome. Monday there was zero, zero pain. Um, you know, so oh, th this is the good, by the way, this is the, the good of the week. Um, yeah, no pain in the knee. Um, you know, throughout the week, there was, there was a couple days where I was like, okay, if on a scale of one to 10, it was probably like a one, one and a half out of 10 pain. It was there. If anything, I would say it felt more tight than, than painful. So that was, that was huge. Um, you know, again, consistency in the week, you know, everything went, went well. There was no major hiccups that, that went on. Um, I would say the, the bad of the week. Still working on, on hydration a little bit, still working on, on fueling a little bit. Um, you know, we're, I'm trying to start building my, my volume up a little bit because the knee has been a bother. I've been kind of holding the, the volume a little bit more conservative, doing a little more cross training, doing some other stuff to, to work out with. Um, but now that everything's starting to feel better and I'm gonna start kind of ramping up that, that volume a little bit more definitely need to start making sure that I'm eating more, um, hydrating more, staying on top of that stuff throughout the week, um, being more proactive on it rather than reactive. Um, I feel like a lot of this week has been, oh, I did this big effort. I'm super tired. I should probably eat more. Uh, no, I want to kind of get back into the, the rhythm of like, oh, I've got a big effort coming up. I should probably eat more now so that I'm fully um, fueled for that effort later on. So that's been kind of the, the one little thing this week that I, I felt like I was kind of dealing with, because again, starting to build the volume back up again. Um, and so I really want to kind of focus and, and pay attention to that stuff and get ahead of it before, before I get behind. Um, and then that leads me to the goal for next week. Um, knowing that I'm building the volume up a little bit higher this, these upcoming weeks, knowing that I need to work on fueling a little bit more these next couple of weeks. I think my goal for next week is going to be more getting in the kitchen and making more snacks. I know that sounds weird, um, but I, I really enjoy a lot of recipes that I've found or, or have kind of up, come up with, with either like granola bars, oatmeal cookies, you know, all these little side things. Um, I've got a homemade uh, gel that I make for, for some of my, my workouts. Um, you know, I, I, and I've got some recipes that I've, I've found and I haven't tried yet. I wanna kind of experiment with those. I wanna jump in the kitchen this week and, and really kind of get ahead and have those easy snacks that I can just grab and go um, or just kind of munch on throughout the day, you know, without going to the store and just getting like Oreos and Cheetos and stuff like that. I, I want good quality nutritional snacks uh, to kind of work with throughout the week. So that's really my, my goal for next week is to, to do some of that stuff and, and really kind of stay ahead on, on my nutrition. So, 
all right that's it for for this week that was week seven um i again i'm feeling really confident i'm feeling really good hopefully we can kind of keep this going that this isn't just kind of coming up to a peak before before a valley um i know next week's another big week um but then we've got a rest week the week after that so so hopefully this kind of is a nice trend heading in the right direction after a lot of the stuff that's we've been dealing with heading into this point because we're we're halfway we are halfway to to the marathon so so let's let's keep this this train rolling all right uh that's it until next time happy running and i'll talk to you guys all later okay bye